Hey guys, so I just had an idea, so apologies for my scruffiness. Um, I just thought people love the Iron Cross, right? If you're into bodyweight training, which is trending, everyone's getting into bodyweight training, um, the Iron Cross is something you'll eventually find because it's an epic skill, the symbolism of being in the cross. Jesus! <laughs> well, people want to train it, but beginners can't just go and do the Iron Cross. They could damage their biceps and the bicep tendon because that needs time to be developed. But one thing that I noticed when I was getting into body weight training was you always want to do the bigger and be like the best skills, right? But you can't just, like I said, go and do the Iron Cross. So what are exercises that beginners can do for these advanced skills? I don't agree with the train of thought that as a beginner you should you know, just do push-ups and pull-ups or whatever the basic movements are. Bodyweight training is so scalable, if that's a word, <laughs> um, that you can take these advanced skills and do beginner progressions on them. So we're doing the Iron Cross today. If you like this idea of finding out exercise you can do for these advanced skills, let me know and let me know what one you want to see next in the comment section. So Iron Cross today, the first thing that you should be able to do is support position. What that is, is get your friend to help you in hard times. <laughs> get support. So, um, basically just push yourself up on the rings and turn the rings out. At the start, you might recognize this if you've just first gotten on the rings. <laughs> and it's going to be shaky at first, but pursue it, keep doing it, and the end result is you just want to be able to press up with the elbows locked, with the rings turned out, and hold this position. You can aim for endurance on this skill. Aim for, say, 30 seconds for three sets or something like that. But that's where you're starting. You're wanting to get the support position. The second exercise is, this is quite intuitive for the cross. So obviously the iron cross is the arms completely out, horizontal, locked out. So what beginners would do is once they have the support position, they start to do mini cross presses or cross holds. So it's almost, it's the support position, but you're moving your arms out just that little bit closer to iron cross position. So we're going up in support. If this is good for you, you can either hold it slightly further out or you can do presses. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh okay. <laughs> the, and then the last exercise that you can do is, this is one that I discovered from Brandon Wynn who was a beast on the steel rings. I say it like he's passed on, he's still around doing stuff. Um, I found this one really good because it was very much focused on stability, which comes into play a lot for the Iron Cross, but it was just, it added a bit more variation into the pool for working towards Iron Cross. And I think at that beginner, slightly getting a bit more advanced level, this is a really good one. So it's holding the position out, not too far. 45 degrees could be maybe the max, but let's do it much closer in, just slightly out. And we're trying to get a little bit of a swing going with the body, keeping that hollow body position. <clears throat> Getting that hollow body, and we're creating a little bit of a swing to put us off balance, but then that's encouraging us to stay stable with our straight arms and core position to just stay in that hollow body position. Repeated. All right. So we're going up into support, arms slightly out, and then create a bit of a swing. I think both collarbones have shattered. Nah, so that's it. And if you got something out of that video, exercises were helpful, let me know. Let me know if you want to see any other exercises for beginners that are, let me say that again. Let me know if you want to see any other 
beginner exercises for advanced skills. You can subscribe and you can like the video if you got something out of it and I'll see you for the next one.